Welcome to Keyword Financial. In this video, we are going to discuss what is a crypto wallet, what is MetaMask, how to create a MetaMask wallet, and how to set up the Avalanche blockchain network on your MetaMask wallet. What is a crypto wallet? Cryptocurrency wallets store users' public and private keys while providing an easy-to-use interface to manage crypto balances. Cryptocurrency wallets also support cryptocurrency transfers through their users' desired blockchain. Some cryptocurrency wallets will attempt to automatically sort out which blockchain the asset is housed on. This is dangerous because if the AI and or development team's code gets it wrong, you could lose your transaction and your crypto could float in a financial ether. No pun intended. Some wallets even allow users to perform certain actions with their crypto assets, such as buying, selling, or creating liquidity within decentralized applications, also known as dApps. It is important to remember that cryptocurrency transactions do not represent a sending of crypto tokens from your mobile phone to someone else's mobile phone. When you are sending tokens, you are actually using your private key to sign the transaction, verifying with a seal of authorization that you approve the pending transaction and broadcast it to the blockchain network. The network will then include your transaction to reflect the updated balance in your address and the recipients. So, the term wallet is actually somewhat of a misnomer. As crypto wallets don't really store cryptocurrency in the same way physical wallets hold cash. Instead, crypto wallets read the public ledger to show you the balances in your addresses and also hold the private keys that enable you to make transactions. What is MetaMask? One of the easiest and most popular cryptocurrency wallets to use is MetaMask. MetaMask is a browser plugin that serves as a cryptocurrency wallet for most of the popular blockchains and is installed like any other browser plugin. Users can also download the MetaMask wallet application for their Apple or Android-based phones. Once MetaMask is installed, it allows users to store crypto like Ethereum and other Ethereum 20 tokens, thus enabling users to transact with numerous blockchain addresses. By connecting MetaMask to a cryptocurrency-based dApp, users can spend their coins or tokens in games, stake crypto in gambling applications, purchase non-fungible tokens, and trade their crypto assets on decentralized exchanges. It also provides users with an entry point into the emerging world of decentralized finance. Simply put, MetaMask provides easy and direct access to all the DeFi apps we desire within the cryptocurrency sphere. Before we set up our crypto wallets, it is important to understand how your MetaMask will work. MetaMask has three primary use cases. One, storing your cryptocurrency. This includes organizing and filing your asset on the correct blockchain network. Two, swapping your crypto on numerous centralized and decentralized platforms to include decentralized exchanges and Web3 NFT marketplaces. Three, access to decentralized applications. MetaMask allows its users to directly interface with different crypto and blockchain-based applications, such as cryptocurrency lending products, blockchain-powered games, NFTs, and much more. Additionally, MetaMask's built-in crypto wallet makes it easy for users to spend, send, or stake their crypto anywhere within compatible blockchain ecosystems without having to manage external wallet integrations or unnecessary transactions. Do note, that even though the article on the screen constantly references Ethereum-based ecosystems, MetaMask gives you access to numerous blockchain ecosystems like Phantom, Avalanche, Binance, and Kronos. Step one, go to the web address bar. In the web address bar, input metamask.io. Notice the blue download button on your screen and notice the Microsoft Edge logo the icon will change to reflect the browser you are on. So ensure you are on your favorite or desired web browser before you download the extension. MetaMask offers extensions for Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and Brave, the blockchain-powered web browser, fueled by the basic attention token. Step two, downloading MetaMask. When you are ready to download, Look for and click the blue button labeled Download. After clicking, look to your right and find the blue button labeled Get.
click the blue Get button, notice the warning label. The warning states that the MetaMask extension can read and change all your information within all the websites you visit that the browser extension is attached to. The extension will have the ability to display notifications for confirming your cryptocurrency transactions or informing you when you receive currency via friend, customer, or a promotional airdrop. MetaMask can also modify the data you copy and paste, for example, copying and pasting a public crypto wallet address. If you agree with the parameters, click Accept to proceed. Step 3. Welcome to MetaMask. Slight digression, have you noticed the fox's face? The fox's face will follow in the direction you move your mouse. When you are ready to proceed, look for and identify the Get Started button. It's blue. Click the button to proceed to the next page. The next page will provide an overview of what the MetaMask extension will and will not do. MetaMask will never collect on and store your private and public keys. The MetaMask wallet will not advertise, distribute, and collect on your full IP address. MetaMask will not sell your private data to include purchasing habits and favorite blockchain projects. Remember this is decentralized finance. You money is not the government's business nor should it be under its control. Please read the data provided fully. And if you agree, click the blue button label diagree. Next we see two options. Option one allows users who have pre-existing accounts to input their 12 word secret recovery phase. This secret recovery phase is also known as your private keys. Never share them with anybody nor leave them lying about for someone to find. The second option is for new users to create their account since we are new users, let's click the blue button labeled Create a Wallet. Step number four, creating a password. Next, we get to create a password. It is important to remember that thieves will want access to your wallet. One method they will use is by attempting to log onto your account. By guessing your password based off of personal information gained from compromised security questions that might have been sold within the dark web. Don't overlook the individuals around you. Dishonesty might make them think they can guess your password because of previous interactions or personal information they know about you. This is why it is extremely important not to include any personal information in your passwords. Another way that hackers can attempt to gain access to your account is via password cracker. Understanding the risks of having a weak password creates something strong and difficult to breach as an extra layer of defense. So how do you have a strong password that is easy to remember? While it may seem tough to do this, there are a few simple tips that can make it easy. Use a mix of alphabetical and numerical characters. Use a mixture of upper and lower case. Passwords are case sensitive. Use symbols if the system allows. Remember spaces shouldn't be used. Use a combination of letters and numbers or a phrase like many colors using only the consonants. Pick something obscure like an odd character, an otherwise familiar term, or a combination of two unrelated words. Try an acronym for an easy to remember quote or phrase, or use two words separated by a non-alphabetic, non-numeric, or punctuation character. What is important is, the weaker the password, the easier it will be for someone to steal all your crypto. When ready, input your password and then go below to the confirm password section and input it again to ensure the characters match. Read the terms of agreement, and when ready, check the box, then click the blue button labeled create. After confirming your password, MetaMask will provide a brief video pertaining to your new crypto wallet and how to keep it safe and secure. As discussed earlier, your secret recovery is a 12-word phrase that is the master key to your wallet and your funds. This is also known as your private keys. Remember your wallet has private and public keys. As indicated, a common question is, how should I save my secret recovery phrase? One. Save your master or private key in a password manager. Two, store your private key in a bank vault. Three, secure your master key in a safe deposit box. Four, write down your secret recovery phrase and store in multiple private and or discrete places. Finally, and most importantly, do not forget, never ever, ever tell or share your secret recovery phrase with anyone. Blockchains cannot be hacked. So, thieves go after the weakest point of a blockchain transaction the user. If someone asks for your recovery phrase, 
They are trying to trick you into willfully giving them access to your crypto, and they will steal your wallet's funds. When you are ready to proceed, click the big blue button labeled Next. Notice the grayed out area with the white lock on it. Clicking on the lock will reveal your secret recovery phrase. For security reasons, since this is a real wallet, keyword financial, will not disclose this wallet's private keys during this walkthrough. I am not going to reveal my phrase, but ensure you reveal yours. Do not follow me by clicking the remind me later button. You might not know where to go within the setting menu to recover your phrase. After you reveal your 12 word recovery phrase, write it down in the exact order MetaMask gives it to you. This is important. Once written down correctly, make a copy and secure it in a safe place somewhere that you can gain access to it at a later date. Remember, you must write your phrase down in the correct order. For example, one is key, the second is word, third is financial, fourth is crypto, fifth is currency, the sixth is blockchain, and so on and so on. MetaMask will ask you to rewrite your phrase to ensure you know it, and they are going to verify you understand the correct order it must be inputted. Once you understand and pass the phrase verification, click Next. Congratulations, if everything went correctly, you have entry into your crypto wallet. Welcome to your brand new, freshly minted MetaMask wallet. If you did not go beyond the verification, you will not gain entry. Try re-inputting the security phrase correctly or you might have to start over. For those of you who pass verification, let's have a look around. By default, your MetaMask will automatically be set to the Ethereum blockchain. This is confirmed by the Ethereum icon, the circle with the diamond inside of it, and the three letters E, T, H with the zero denomination next to it. At the top of your screen, you should see the word account number one. Below the word account number one is a string of letters and numbers these characters are your public address. To the right of the last four digits of these characters, in my case, 9C98, are two squares. Clicking on these squares will copy your wallet's public address. This feature makes it easier to input the required data for blockchain transactions. Do you remember earlier? We read a warning that if you downloaded this extension, MetaMask would have access to your computer's copy and paste functions. This is what they were talking about. In the upper right-hand corner, where it reads Ethereum mainnet, you will see an arrow or carrot pointing down. Clicking on this arrow will allow you to switch or choose your desired blockchain. Also, in the upper right-hand corner, on this screen, you will see a circle with multiple colors in it. Do note, these colors will be different for you because each wallet is different. Mine are red and orange. Below the red and orange circle are three dots. Clicking on these three dots allow us access to our entire public key also known as the public wallet address. Clicking on the three dots also gives us the option to change the name of our wallet by clicking on the pencil. MetaMask allows its users to create multiple public wallets with the option to name each one. Each wallet will have a different public address. You can create as many public keys as you would like, but you will only have one private key or one private security phrase that will house and protect an authorized access to your wallet. Clicking on the blue buy button provides us with different options that will allow us to purchase Ethereum coins. If you are on a different blockchain network, then the buy button will provide you with different options to purchase cryptocurrency that is native to that specific blockchain's coin. The send button, also blue, allows you to send crypto or non-fungible tokens between wallets. After clicking the send button, you have the option to paste a public address into the blank bar, or you can click on the QR scanner code option to the right of the address bar. The QR code option enables quick transactions between phones or dApps. 
Some crypto projects require you to link your wallet through a dApp called Wallet Connect. This QR code icon meets this requirement and enables your transactions without hindrance. The last thing that we are going to go over in this tutorial is how to add the Avalanche blockchain to your MetaMask. Avalanche is a decentralized, open source, proof of stake blockchain with smart contract functionality. AVAX is the native cryptocurrency of this platform. First, click on the arrow pointing down. This arrow is next to the word Ethereum mainnet. The arrow is on the right hand side of the word mainnet. In case you are lost, look for the flashing mouse cursor for reference. After clicking on the arrow, you will see several options. For this walkthrough, click on the button labeled Add Network. After clicking on the button labeled Add Network, we are taken to a new screen. On this new screen, look at the top and you will see three options, two grayed out and one in black letters. The letters in black let us know the current function or operation that we are about to initiate. In this case, we are adding the Avalanche blockchain manually to our MetaMask wallet. It is important to understand that whether you are adding this network from your cell phone, utilizing the MetaMask phone application, or through the web extension, what you are about to see is the same required data and the same buttonology. First, let's add the network name. The network name we need is the Avalanche Network. Second is the new RPC URL code or the remote procedure call code. This is similar to a node's address. This RPC is a URL that requests blockchain data that can be sent back and forth. Please use the information provided in the screenshot to fill out the required data for the RPC URL code. Third is the chain ID. Basically, a chain identifier is an integer number used in the processes of signing blockchain transactions and verifying blockchain transaction signatures. If different chain identifiers are used for signing and verifying the transaction, then the transaction verification will fail. This is just another layer of protection to safeguard your crypto. In this section type 4, 3, 1, 1, 4, then we have to add the symbol for the cryptocurrency native to this blockchain. Think of these symbols akin to stock market tickers. Just like stock market tickers, crypto symbols are normally three or four letters long. For the Avalanche blockchain, type in AVAX. Finally, we have to add in the Blockchain Explorer URL. A Blockchain Explorer URL is basically a blockchain network search engine. It can be used to search for just about any information pertaining to the state of a specific blockchain. The Explorer URL details every crypto wallet attached to a specific blockchain and all of its transactions. For this final section, use the data indicated in the screenshot. When every section is complete, click on the blue save button. If everything was done correctly, you should see a green message in the bottom right hand of your screen, stating that the Avalanche network was successfully added. Another way you can verify if you were successful, look for the Avalanche icon. This icon is a red circle with a white mountain inside of it. Remember, if you need to switch back and forth between blockchains, click on the arrow next to the words Avalanche Network or to the left of the red and orange circle. Click on the arrow pointing down and choose your desired blockchain network. Well, this concludes our tutorial, and I hope it was beneficial for you. Tune in later on for another walkthrough.